All right, I uh, couldn't remember. There was a bunch of things I wanted to rant about, and I could not remember because I get you know my mind's fucking all over the place. I got so many things going. Like my brain doesn't like to focus on one thing too long because it gets bored. Like, you know, ADD, ADHD, fucking all that shit. But like, um, I'll get an idea and I'll be like, yeah, that's a good idea, and I'll toss it in the back, and I won't see it for like months. <laughs> so I had all these ideas I want to do for YouTube, like fucking three hundred of them, and uh, just uh, can't seem to uh, you know remember them all. Um, there was one thing that pissed me off, though, a couple things just recently. There was, um, what's her name, Rihanna got beat up by her boyfriend, right? That fucking sucks, because, you know, she's she's a cute little singer, and she's entertaining, but... And then all of a sudden, Will Smith's wife comes on and has to sound off, because everyone's got to sound off, and she's, like, you know, almost getting enraged, talking to the cam uh, the interviewer, saying, It is not right at any time for anybody to hurt a woman. And I felt like going, shh, shh, wait, wait, wait. It's not right any time for any human beings to get hurt. You know, why why, why do we have to say, oh, it's not right to hit a woman? Why is it Why is it right to hit men then? Like, oh, uh, because we're slightly, you know, bigger and stronger and everything? Oh, yeah, we're, we can take it. No, I don't think uh, abuse against anybody is really, uh, really good. Let's just uh, expand on that, you know? Like, you know, I always look at nature. Nature is the ultimate, uh, you know, fucking... Um, level playing field, right? Because in nature, anything goes. It doesn't matter. Guy, girl, you know, you chase down a gazelle, you're hungry, you eat it. You don't go, oh, it's a girl, I can't hurt it. I gotta let it run. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Like, ugh. And in some species in nature, I mean, the girl is the big motherfucker and the guy's a little bitch. So it just happens that, you know, that our, our species, the guys are the stronger ones and the girls are, are the cute ones. But yeah, it's just, it pisses me off. Like, that and, um, oh, here's another thing I was gonna, uh, I'll, yeah, I'll finish this thought first before I move on to the next one. See, I'm fucking racing here. I don't know what's going on. I'm fucking maybe too much coffee today or something. Yeah, just, uh, I was watching a thing today on, um, it's like one of those, um, it's a forensic, uh, guy, girl, well, doctor who finds a body and then has to uh, figure out, what, you know, is the story consistent with what happened and then she finds out that this person was killed and there's something like 1,600, uh, domestic, uh, murders in in the U.S. every year, something crazy like that, and um, it's usually like brother or sister, brother, brother, or husband, wife, or, you know, it's like inner inner family type thing, and it's like 73% of the, the victims murdered are actually w women, right? Because, you know, it's no wonder guys are bigger and stronger, but I find it interesting. I thought the stat would be higher, but it must be because nowadays it's easy for a girl to get a gun or anybody to get a gun, right? So it's, it's kind of levels the playing field, but, you know, it's still not fair. I'm not saying it's okay to beat up on a girl. It's not. But uh, I just hate how there's so many things wrong in this world, right? Like, there's so many injustices, so many things. Rihanna got beat up a little bit. Rihanna is cute. She's a fucking entertainer. It's no more tragic for her to get beat up than any of those 1,600 other people that got killed. Or, you know, the, I don't even want to know how many people get, get just wrong place, wrong time, get the shit kicked out of them for absolutely nothing. Or someone doesn't like you, so they made up a lie about you, and, they, you know, their friends kick the shit out of you. It's just... And they're using this this Rihanna thing as a platform. Oh, let's make a big anti you know uh, anti um, you know female abuse case. Let's let's really push this right now because it's hot. It's fucking stupid. It is not right to hurt people. And it, <laughs> man or woman, why why you know Jesus? Oh, I hate that. And there's another thing I was going to go on about is the uh, Barack Obama is awesome. Like I didn't know anything about this guy. I don't I don't really follow politics. To me, politics are way too overly complicated, and I don't mean that I don't understand them, I mean, why do we have this giant, like, masturbation festival for this guy or girl who promises all this shit, they get elected, they barely do whatever they said they were going to do, they leave in four years, and then we, you know, elect another shiny jerk-off who says the same thing and doesn't do it. Barack Obama actually is doing everything he promised, which is fucking really cool. The guy's a very smart, articulate motherfucker. He's the first... Uh, politician, I've actually listened to do a speech, and I actually, he looks like he believes what he's saying, and he really means it. Like, he's a really solid motherfucker. So I was, like, pretty impressed with this guy, and then he got elected, and I'm like, hey, this is fucking cool. But the thing that pisses me off is, Oprah is sitting there crying, right? Because, you know, a black man got, you know, uh, elected president. But it's like, I don't understand why that, I know it's a big deal to have a black president, it's cool, like it's the first time it's ever happened in history, but I don't think that, that anybody should be crying like it's such an impossible dream, like oh my god, like if Martin Luther King was alive today, he'd be in tears, like I have as much in common with him as she does, like he's a guy, I'm a guy, like she's black, he's black, <laughs> he has two eyeballs, I'm gonna cry because a human being got elected, he's got two arms, two legs and a head just like I do, oh this is emotional, oh my god. 
It's cool that he got elected. He's a smart guy. He's, like, the best guy for the job. Why does it matter what his race is? Like, who fucking cares? I don't care if he's African. I don't care if he's Chinese. If he's, he's gonna kick ass, he's gonna kick ass. Like, fuck. I'm making a big deal about that. And then there's another thing. I'm all about just ranting, nitpicking. Everybody does it, right? Are my bitchings any better better than anyone else's bitchings? Well, I, I hope so, because, you know, they're mine. <laughs> There's a, uh, I get really pissed off because of what's in. I hate what's in, what's fashionable, right? Because we're out, and I see everybody dressed the same. Like, 95% of the people you see walking down the street. The girls are all doing this, like, 80s tube top thing with the leggings, with the tall boots. And it's not like it's a bad look, but it's it's attractive. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. It's not like they're doing, like, fucking something ridiculous or not. But everybody does it. So if, if something is hot, if some look is hot, but everybody does it, it's not hot anymore. It gets saturated, and you see it everywhere, and you're desensitized to it. And uh, then it's just normal. Like, when are people going to realize, like, the, the, the same thing with guys. Guys are all dressing up like, uh, what's his name? Uh, Fat Joe, you know, he's got the big stiff baseball cap. Like, it looks like it's, you know, never been worn because it's, you know, completely brand new and stiff and a little off to the side with a, you know, whatever on it. And all the guys are dressing like little homeboys. And I just want to... Just want to slap them. Like, who do you hate more? The people that are the complete conformists that are fucking ridiculous, right? Or the people who are the anti-conformists. Now, these people make me laugh, too, because it's like your your emo kids, you know, all that shit. Where they're like, oh, I hate society, and I hate, I, you know, I hate all these companies, and oh, I, I do my hair all crazy and different. Oh, I must be cool. So this guy at Costco one day had a fucking gigantic mohawk. Like, it's like, you know, a foot tall. And you just make me want to go, is that really you? Does that really encapsulate you? Like... If you can't have a foot-high mohawk, you cannot live. Or you have to have 15 facial piercings, because that is you. But you're expressing yourself. <laughs> That's why I'm glad of my fashion sense. Mine is like, I never buy myself clothes. It's ridiculous. My mom is always out, just, she's a deal bag. Like, I've never seen, you give her like $10, and she'll get you like $100 worth of shit. She's amazing. She'll find shirts and all this other random shit, and they look good. She's got a really good, you know, taste. She'll say, oh, yeah, I found this for, like, you're never going to guess what I paid for. It's, like, $3, and it's a really nice shirt. So I'll put it on. I don't, I don't give a flying fuck where I get my clothes. Yeah, my mom still dresses me. Thanks, guys. No, I mean, I just, I never buy myself clothes, because, like, I'm like, okay, I got a shirt. It doesn't have too many holes in it. It's not, you know, it doesn't have covered in pit stains. It's good enough for me. I, I don't care. <laughs> I just wear whatever is available, because I hate how much work everyone puts into their fucking appearance. Every little square inch of their body has got to be perfect, but, like, everybody does this, so <laughs> no one notices it's kind of like being tan there, like, everybody wanted to be tan. Being tan was in, and then it's out, and... It's like, if everybody's tan, then there is no tan. It's just, then it becomes normal. So why does everybody have to tan? Because it's cool. I mean, I'm a pasty Irish motherfucker, so I, I don't tan, and that's cool, but I'm not going to go out there and say, oh, you know, this person looks good with a tan, so I'm going to do it, too. So, yeah, anyway, the, uh, I hate conformists, and I hate the anti-conformists, because they're like, I hate society, I hate this, I hate that, yet they don't realize... They're just as much part of the chain as anybody else. They're still buying their black nail polish from Clairol or whatever, and they're getting the fucking hair products. They're still paying taxes. They're still doing everything that the conformists are doing, but they're, <laughs> they have a little bit different ideals. Like, oh, it's hilarious. So I hate them both pretty much equally. Like, they're both pathetic. Like, you got to break away, and you got to say, you know, I like these jeans because they're comfortable, and I don't care what they look like. I have a pair of jeans that have a little bit of spandex in them. My mom got them for me. And they're like a second skin. Like, I put them on, and they're just, you know, they're they're not like, uh, you know, the tightest pants you've ever seen or whatever. But I have big legs, so I'm kinda, it's kind of hard for me to have big ass. So it's kind of hard for me to find pants that fit. So these things fit really nice around my legs, but then they're kind of baggy towards the bottom. And, you know, as long as they're not fucking skinny jeans. That's another thing. I fucking hate skinny jeans. Blah! Skinny jeans. Ugh, especially guys that wear skinny jeans. There's no excuse. Unless you're Johnny Rotten or something, you know, then it's cool, but... Punk doesn't exist anymore, guys. Like, give give punk up. Punk died a long time ago. T punk died a lot, you know, before most of these kids were born, so. I don't understand. Uh, maybe I'm just too old. I'm 30, you know. I'm just, I don't, I don't get kids anymore. They're, oh, they just got all these crazy emo hide-in-the-closet fucking, you know. Uh, I don't even know what I'm ranting about anymore. I'm just fucking, I've been drinking steadily for a few days, so. A little burnout, I think. Anyway, you guys, you guys get my points, don't you? You see what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah. Fucking, 